Hey guys, welcome back to Time Machine Scale Models. So I'm getting around to getting my spray booth up and running. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to make sure that I had everything as it should be. Um, I wanted to protect it and organize everything so uh, when I get ready to use it I know where everything is and I don't ruin it. So one thing that I learned, uh, and I learned this from Craig Woods over at Craig's Corner, is that he uses this Glad press and seal on his spray booth. So what I've done is I've lined the whole inside as well as the bottom with the press and seal to protect it from getting uh, coated with paint. So I thought that was a pretty good idea. Um, this, I mean, it's relatively expensive, but I think it's worth it. Um, obviously the spray booth is a lot more expensive than the press and seal. So taking a little bit of effort to uh, protect it from paint overspray and uh, keep it from crusting up and stuff like that. It'll also help me to uh, perform better paint jobs and keep the spray booth clean. The other thing that I've gone ahead and done, and I've learned this from Mr. Mark Batson, Hobby Dude 007, is I've used um, quilting batting in front of the filter to help prolong the uh, life of the filter. So this is a 36 inch by 45 inch. There's quite a lot of batting in here. And you can get this at Hobby Lobby, Joann's Fabrics, Michaels. And uh, this was $2.99. So to prolong the life of the filters, the $3 is worth it. You get a lot of pre-filter material in this to uh, uh, prolong the life of your filters. This particular spray booth came with two filters. So you have the pre-filter and then a filter behind it, one blue, one white. So um, being that they're a little bit expensive, it's probably just a little bit of, of insurance to add another pre-filter. So yeah, we haven't, uh, we haven't used it yet. So she's hooked up and ready to go. And um, she works. And I got a couple other things that I got to do before I get um, to using it. The other thing is I need to seal the window up here. I don't intend on leaving uh, the hose connected at all times. I'll pull that out when I'm done, close the window, etc. But I think I'm going to put some styrofoam, cut a piece of styrofoam that I have out in the shop and fill that gap so the cold air don't come into the room. But yeah, this is it. And um, what I plan on doing is I got, I got some paint that I want to try out. So I'm going to do some spoon tests later on this evening. I may or may not video that to show you, but um, I will be showing you the first use of the box. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with the box, and everybody that I've seen do a review on this box, they seem to like it a lot. So, I'm sure I will too. Alright guys, thanks for stopping in. Have a great Sunday. Mm -hmm.